All right, so in front of me I have the all new 2021 Chevrolet Suburban Z71. So this being the Z71, this is the more rugged and off-road version of the Suburban. As you can see, we have the red tow hooks up front and then just the overall design with the meteor tread and the tires. So this is very similar to the GMC Yukon AT4. And before we go any further, I would like to thank Chelsea Chevrolet Buick here in Chelsea for providing me with our tester vehicle for today. So as usual, starting off with the key fob, it is a newer design that General Motors is now using with the Chevrolet bow tie on the rear, of course. And on the face of the key, you have unlock and lock, remote start, power liftgate. This button right here releases the glass on the liftgate and panic alarm. And then on the inside, of course, we do have a physical laser cut key to access the vehicle at the key fob or the battery on the vehicle dies itself. So in order to utilize remote start, you first have to lock the vehicle and then double click the circular button. So approaching the Suburban, as you can see, the LED daytime running lights right here have illuminated as well as the side marker lights. And then coming to the rear here, you do have the LED accented lights that do come on as well. Now in order to shut the vehicle off, you just double click the same button again. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the exterior lighting and we will take a good look at the outside of the vehicle. All right, so starting off with the front fascia of the all-new Suburban. Of course, this is very similar to the Tahoe. The Suburban is just an extended wheelbase version. So we do have a tri-bulb set up here for our headlights. So these two bulbs right here act as your headlight, and then the centerpiece right here acts as your high beam. I will go ahead and turn that on. And then you also have right here your daytime running lights do act as your turning signals. All right, so there is your high beam right there. These are all LED, of course. And then the Z71 does include the black bow tie up front and the black grill, along with those red tow hooks. And you do have forward park assist as well. And coming to the side mirrors here, you do have turning signals with them as well. And down below, you do have a camera as well for your 360 surround vision package. And coming to the wheels, these are the 20 inch wheels that do come on the Z71 Tahoe and Suburban. However, you can range from 18 to 22 inch wheels. And the name Suburban as well with the Z71 package is darkened out. And you have rear tinted glass as well with black roof rails up top. And on all four doors you do have your passive entry buttons. You also do have running boards as well. These are stationary running boards. If you want power deploying running boards that are illuminated, you will want to go to the Premier or High Country. So coming to our taillight here, the daytime running light for the taillight is an LED. However, each individual component, such as the brake light, turning indicator, and the reverse light are incandescent bulbs. And also on your mirrors, you do have blind spot monitoring as well and they are heating and auto dimming. And on this Suburban as well, there are airbags that 
chrome thing right there that tank is actually an airbag this does have the adaptive air ride suspension for the z71 i will demonstrate that once we get into the interior portion of the video and up top it is sort of difficult to see but you have a camera and radar right there for your forward collision sensor and adaptive cruise control this particular suburban though does not have adaptive cruise you'd have to go to the premier high country though and you do have your shark fin antenna right there on the corner and on both sides z71 badging so the color of the suburban is cherry red tint coat and you have a jet black interior it is leather seating So let's go ahead and take a look at the engine. Now this is the standard 5.3 liter V8 engine that you can get on the Tahoe and Suburban. This engine makes 355 horsepower and 383 pound feet of torque. If you want the 6.2 liter engine, you'd have to go to the High Country. That engine makes 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. There's also an available 3 liter Duramax diesel in line 6 that produces 277 horsepower and the same 460 pound-feet of torque as the 6.2 liter. Now you can get that 3 liter diesel on any trim level besides the Z71. On this Z71, you can only opt for the 5.3. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lock the vehicle. And as you can see, the doors are locked. So coming to our driver's door, if you press the button once, only the driver's door unlocks. But if you press it a second time, all four of the doors will unlock. And of course, pressing it once more will lock the doors. There is no sensor behind the handle. But if you go to any door besides the driver's door, it unlocks all four of the doors. Now taking a look in the cabin, you can see there is absolutely zero resemblance of the previous generation Suburban and Tahoe. Everything in here has been fully redesigned. Coming to our driver's seat, it is a 10-way power adjusting seat with 4-way adjustable lumbar. Alright, so in order to start the Suburban, you just need to have the key inside of the vehicle. It is in my pocket. Depress the brake and press the button. Now when you start the vehicle, you will hear the all new chime that GM has developed. They are no longer using the traditional chime that they've been using for the past 20 years. So I'm gonna start left to right. So right here we do have, we of course have our power window controls right here with our power mirror controls as well. Rear window lockout and this button right here will actually power fold your mirrors. Now your windows are automatic down, all four of them, but only the front two windows are auto up. 
and with that two person memory you also get you can program up to two people with the seat so it will remember the seat position steering wheel position and side mirror position so if somebody borrows your vehicle you just have to press the number one or number two and the vehicle will remember your settings And right here you do have your electronic parking brake to set. Press the button. And to disengage, depress the brake and press the button. This is your trash control button. You can turn trash control on and off with that. This is your lane keeping assist. What lane keeping assist is, if you are driving and you begin to drift out of your lane, the vehicle will try to nudge you back in. Parking assist for the front and the rear. Hill descent control. What that is is if you are going down a steep grade and you don't want to continue to keep pressing your brakes, the vehicle will mitigate a speed to go downhill. This button right here turns on and off. Auto start stop. What that is, when you come to a complete stop at a stoplight or stop sign, the engine will actually turn off in order to conserve fuel. And this button right here turns on and off the outlet in the rear. And right here, this is a card holder, so you can put your ID, credit card, anything you want right here. That's what this is for. And right here, these are the controls for your four-wheel drive. So if I press auto, as we are already in auto, pressing four high, you will go into four-wheel drive high, two high. Now we are in rear-wheel drive. And four low. And this knob right here is actually used to control the adaptive air ride suspension. So we have normal mode, sport mode, off-road mode. So when you go in off-road mode, the suspension will actually automatically raise. And tow and haul mode. And as you can see, I'll switch back to off-road. You have the battery voltage, but when you go in tow haul mode, it will actually display the transmission temperature. And switching back to normal mode, it goes back to the battery. And this indicator right here shows that we are raising in the air. That's what those airbags are for. As well as your trailer braking controller right here for that tow haul mode. And right here, this controls the gauge dimming and your headlights. So you have auto, parking, and headlights. And of course, high beams right here. You can turn your lights on and off. All right, and so coming to your steering column, it is power adjusting. And it is leather wrapped as well, your steering wheel. And then right here, this is your cruise control settings. Right here, this is your forward collision alert settings. You can adjust the sensitivity of the forward collision alert, as well as your heated steering wheel as well. And right here, you have Bluetooth hands-free calling with hang up. And then this thumb pad right here will go through your center screen. So right here on the home page, we do it does display your speed, fuel range, time, and temperature the position of the wheels. So as I turn the wheel, as you can see in the center there, it shows the degree angle. This shows what you are listening to and if you had your phone paired to Bluetooth, you could see what you were listening to as well. Navigation, the phone that you connected and you have units, info page, display, home, Speed warning, what speed warning is, is you can set a speed, let's say 70 miles an hour. You can still exceed 70 miles an hour, but if you do, it will say you need to slow down. Remote relearn and software information. And this is the more upscale eight inch display right here in the center with your two analog gauges on the side. And of course you have your airbag and your horn. engine start stop button right here and right here this is very different for the Tahoe and Suburban as you can see we no longer have the traditional column shifter on the side here 
This is now the new electronic precision shift shifter. This was first debuted in the GMC terrain, but in the terrain it's down here, not up here. So as you can see, we are in park. In order to shift, apply the brake and pull the toggle. Now you are in drive to go into reverse, pull it towards you, and your 360 surround vision camera will display. As you can see, this is a bird's eye view, 360 bird's eye, and this shows what's behind you. Of course, you do have the trajectory lines that will move when you turn the steering wheel. And this is what is in front of you. This is to show a trailering, I would assume. Yeah, this is the trailering view as well as the front. And this also, you don't have to necessarily use it for trailering just to see how close you are to an object. The sides, so this shows the rear of the vehicle. And then the front of the vehicle. So as you can see, when I turn the steering wheel, the wheels will turn. And so this is meant to be used as a parallel parking feature, how close you are to a curb. This right here is to show the trailering. So if you have a hitch connected, oh, this would show if you have a, you can actually mount a camera on the back of your trailer so it would show it as transparent. And this shows a much wider angle. You can also, you can take away the bird's eye view. Pressing N for neutral. And to go into low gear, you first have to shift into drive and then pressing the L, we are now in low. As you can see, it says L1. This is a 10 speed transmission. So right now we are still in first gear, but that says L4. So this is telling the transmission not to exceed fourth gear. So if you are towing and you want more control of the transmission, you can. And then to go into park, press the P. And now we are in park. And as you heard, it made a little confirmation tone. So coming right here, this is the standard 10.2 inch infotainment three display. As we can see, we had the film over here, but I'm not gonna take that off, but we have audio, phone, Wi-Fi hotspot, users. So if you click on users, you can actually create a custom profile to the vehicle. Settings, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Those two are now wireless for the 2021 models. And trailering, clicking on that, you can actually program a trailer profile. Apps, OnStar Services, and Climate. Selecting Climate, you can control the climate up here and in the rear. So clicking on rear, you can also lock out the rear controls. And you have auto and sync and you can turn the climate on and off. Sirius XM, My Chevrolet, and camera. And when, oops, when selecting camera, it does display the camera system. And this shows your presets what and what you're listening to. Your air vents right here. And then right here, this is a leather stitch portion along with this as well, all across the dashboard and the door panel and you also have wood accenting as well and up top as well right here this is all stitched leather and coming down here your volume controls channels as well as you can fast forward and rewind home backwards so if you want to go back to what you previously were at and this turns climate on and off you have different fan speeds in different zones and different temperatures. And this is a tri zone uh, climate control setup. So if you switch it to 80 and 84, if you hit synchronize, it will actually go to the driver's temperature. I have no clue what that squeaking is. You have maximum front defrost and rear defrost, as well as recirculation and air conditioning. And you also have tri stage heated seats. So this portion right here, this button will actually heat the bottom and back portion. However, this button just heats the back portion and have the same setup right here for the passenger seat. This turns the climate on and off for the rear. And you have a USB type C, type A and an SD card right there, as well as a cigarette lighter.
And right here, this is your wireless charging pad. So if you have a compatible device. And two cup holders right here with the silver rings that go around. And leather, stitched leather on both sides here where your knees would be. All right, so let's check out our center console. Opening it up, you have a pretty good amount of room in here, but you don't have as much room as you would in other Suburbans, and this is why. This is a very unique feature. It has leather, of course, so you'd be resting your arms. And this used to be the wireless charging pad on previous generations, but now this is just a place where you can rest your phone. So let me show you the coolest feature of this vehicle. So up here on the headliner controls, there's a button right here with two arrows. If you click it one way, You have a power sliding center console and when it slid back you have a little hidden tray right here so you can hide money or anything valuable that you don't want the valet driver to see and you can still open this up of course while this is back there and you can also it being back there it will access it can have the rear passengers have easier access to their cup holders right here and then the same button but pressed in the opposite direction it will return to its original position. I think that is the coolest feature I have seen on a car. And then let's go ahead and move up here since I've already mentioned this area. Of course, we have our lighting right here. They are LED. Everything of this vehicle lighting wise, lighting -wise besides the taillights are LED. And right here, this is your rear liftgate control. So you have maximum three quarters and you can turn it off. And pressing this button will open and close it. And right here, this turns your lights on and off when you open the door. So when I open the door, the lights do come on. And three-person garage door link right there. And then these are the controls for your massive panoramic sunroof that our tester has. This is a $1,500 option. Highly recommend it because this cabin is quite dark inside and this lets a lot of light in. And so you can slide it with this button right here. And to close it, flip it in the opposite direction. And then to get a little crack of air in, there's a tilt button. Pressing that will vent it. And then to close the shade, the button right there. And you do have OnStar right here as well with your passenger airbag. This is cool as well. Now, as you can see, the third row is up. These two buttons, if I press it one way, watch this. And I press the other one. You have power folding seats and you can control them from the front. And of course, pressing it in the opposite direction. They fold back up. And you can also, not from up here, but in the rear, you can fold the second row and third row, of course. And coming right here, of course, we have our hazards. As well as a little cubby right here. And I actually found out this is considered to be the sunglass container. Oops. Because you don't have one up here. This is considered to be the sunglass container. And you have that silver trim that goes around the entire area right here as long with the, or along with the wood accenting. And you do have LED lit vanity mirrors. These are detachable and they can slide. As well as Bluetooth microphones mounted throughout the cabin. And this right here is a massive mirror. It is auto dimming on Premier and High Country versions with the 360 surround vision. You can get a camera mirror. So there would be a toggle right here that you could flip back and it would show a completely unobstructed view of the rear. All right, 
Let's go ahead and have a look at the rear passenger area of the all new 2021 Suburban. So you have some more of that wood accenting back here, along with the leather that comes across the doors and the armrests, and storage down here in the door with the cup holder, and storage right here. And this is really why you're buying a Suburban, is the room. This is a very large vehicle. You have power door locks back here with these same silver accented handles, and handle surrounds, as well as a power window switch as well as a grab handle right here on the B pillar. All right, let me put the armrest down to get a real feel back here. And right here, you have two levers. One of these levers will actually slide these seats back and forth. These do have a total range of 10 inches, so five and a half inches roughly one way. And then right here, this is the lever that you'd use to manually fold the seats down, but again, these are power seats. So I'm gonna adjust the seats to how I would sit comfortably about here. And I can comfortably slide my feet underneath the driver's seat, and I have easily six inches of six to seven inches of room back here, and headspace five to six inches as well. More LED illumination back here with a coat hook and air vents. And this is how far back the panoramic sunroof will lead. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this massive center console and sunroof. I'm gonna open that up as well to show you what it looks like. All right, so this is the view with the panoramic sunroof open. As you can see, it is absolutely massive. And this is what it looks like when the center console is moved backwards. I have very easy access to the cup holders, as I said. Right here, you have tri-stage heated seats for the back seats as well. Oh, these are actually these are locked out. I locked them out there in the front, but you can control your temperature and your fan speed right here, auto and mode. And right here, you do have your um, these are the charging ports, the USB Type A, and a household outlet down here as well and you do have dual mat pockets right here and as you can see our tester is unfortunately missing the 12.3 inch rear media screen displays that would that's a rear media screen and navigation package that you can get but we are missing that unfortunately all right so coming into the third row of the Chevrolet Suburban along this the, the new ones they have now a independent rear suspension so you can thank that for all this room that you have back here now and I again have about six inches of room back here and I have about five to six inches of headroom and I also do have vents back here with more illumination and this third row can accommodate three people. I would say two adults comfortably, but easily three children. And your third seatbelt right there, mounted on the ceiling with coat hooks back there, as you can see. And storage and cup holders, and you also have a USB type C right there. And so right here, if I press this button, and I press it again, these seats will fold forward so you can get easier access in and out of the vehicle if you choose not to walk in between the seats. These are the captain's chair set up. Of course, you can, however, opt for a bench seat if you'd like. So this vehicle does hold seven people. All right, so this is a pretty unique feature that our tester has that this is the first time I'm using it on a Suburban. Here's the key. This has to be on you. I'm placing it in my pocket so you're seeing I'm not touching anything. This is my favorite part. A hands-free kick-activated liftgate. So if your hands are full, you don't have to worry about that. This is a programmable liftgate as well. So if you have a garage that's lower and you don't want your liftgate to smack the roof of your garage, you don't have to worry about that. And all of this room back here behind the Suburban, this is a 19% increase from the previous generation. I will, of course, have the space 
uh, cargo space with the annotations. So I'm gonna go ahead, fold down the seats right here. And I was having some issues with that seat, but I'm gonna see if they'll actually fold down. Yeah, that seat, it's having some issues. I don't know why, but I'm gonna fold down that seat and show you how much room you have. All right, so this is how crazy roomy this Suburban is with the seats folded down. A ridiculous amount of room. These are the floor mats, so excuse those, but you have more storage down here with your lug nuts. And your spare tire is located underneath the vehicle. You can see that new independent suspension. And right here, this is your cover for the towing package that this vehicle has, as well as the rear parking assist, if I didn't mention that earlier. As well as more illumination back here. So you can also, again, raise the seats of the buttons. But you can't raise the second row, you have to do that by hand. And so in order to close the lift gate, to open it, you can use it of course with the button or the button in there, um, or the button on the lift gate itself, or that hands-free kick feature. Um, but to close it, you can use any method I just said, or the button right there. And so also on the key fob right here, this pops the rear glass portion. So if you don't want to open the lift gate in an entirety, you can just throw a bag back there and not have to worry about opening the entire lift gate. So you see we do have a capless fuel design right here. It runs on regular 87 grade gas. However, if you go for that 6.2 liter in the high country, you'll recommend the vehicle will recommend 91 octane however it is not required all right so let's go ahead and take a look at the passenger seat in the front here of the suburban so you see power door locks right here with that same silver accented handle and the accent right here as well as more of that wood trim and leather trim up here and where you'd be resting your elbow and more door storage right here and on the passenger seat it too is a 10-way power adjusting seat with the four-way lumbar and you have a grab handle here on the A-pillar all right so I am very comfortable in the passenger seat I have a plenty amount of leg room I'll scoot my seat up here so I can see how I would really sit in here so a good amount of leg room. The seats are very comfortable. And opening the glove box, it is a lockable glove box. It is damp, so it comes down slowly. And you have your owner's manual, of course, in here. And it is a really good size for it being a Suburban, of course. And our audio system here is a nine speaker Bose audio system. However, you can option a 10 speaker sensor point audio system. And you have the same setup right here as the driver's side. And it also detaches and slides. As well as handles. So taking a look at our window sticker on our tester, 2021 Suburban 4-Wheel Drive Z71 in cherry red tin coat in jet black interior with the 10-speed auto and the 5.3. We get 15 miles per gallon city, 19 highway, 17 combined with the 6.2 liter getting 14 city, 19 highway. And with the diesel, the 3 liter Duramax diesel, the inline 6, you can get 20 miles per gallon city, 26 highway with 23 combined. So I think for a Suburban that has a diesel, you're going to get, for you know a 6,000 pound vehicle, you're going to be getting 20 miles per gallon. That's actually really good um, if you opt for that 3 liter diesel. It is a, uh, I believe a $995 extra over the 5.3 but it is cheaper than the 6.2 of course 
and the MSRP on our particular tester is 71720 All right, well, if you have made it this far into the video to the end, I'm just going to assume that you found this video informative and enjoyable. So if you did, I ask that you consider subscribing and liking the video. And thank you for watching.